Lake Michigan is one of North America's five Great Lakes, a system that holds a fifth of the world's fresh water. Once there was pollution everywhere. Today, while government regulations cleaned up modern businesses, pollution left over from decades ago continues to be a concern. So over 50, 60, 70 years, a lot of these pollutants ended up um, uh, collecting in the bottom sediments of the uh, harbors and tributaries in the Great Lakes. These sediments sit at the bottom. When there's storm events that roll through, a lot of these sediments get resuspended, move out into the lake, um, are taken up by fish, and it, it's, it's a significant problem. PCBs have been like out of use in the U.S. for decades, and you, they're still turning up in significant quantities in Great Lakes fish. Working on the EPA research vessel Mud Puppy, Scott Sanowski takes sediment core samples near the lakeshore. There's probably chemicals in there that we don't even test for. The United States and Canada are concerned about 43 areas with impaired water quality. The mud puppy has tested about half of them. Removing the contaminated sediments throughout the Great Lakes won't be easy or cheap. The cost is in the billions. But saving the lakes means more than cleaning the water. It means keeping the ecosystem healthy in the future. So at the Indiana Dunes Environmental Learning Center, school children work in the nursery, planting native vegetation. It's extremely important for children to understand where they live and what's special about the place where they live so that they will care about the place where they live. Caring people help create the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, a park in an area known mostly for steel mills and oil refineries. It's a compromise between industrialists and environmentalists, and it shows. The national park is in pieces, not contiguous, not connected with each other, and industry and nature are existing side by side here together as a result of this compromise. Since 1966, the park has acquired close to 2,800 acres from local industry. More than 500 acres were donated, land destined for reclamation and habitat growth. The hope is to ensure the future of Lake Michigan and the greater Chicago population. <laughs>